my first grade. This will be part two of our turf house. So last week we got this much finished. Although I did forget to tell you to color the sky. So if you haven't colored the sky yet, you can pause the video and color it. On my finished piece that I showed you, I used cotton balls for clouds. Just spread them out. Uh, I didn't have any cotton balls with me today, so it's hard to see, but I just left some white spots on my picture for clouds today. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is give our house the door. Now, it can be any color. So I happen to have some red scraps here, so I'm going to make a red door. So what I need to do is lay my paper so that I can see how big my door has to be. So I'm going to fold it. And then I'm looking to see how wide it has to be, just to give me an idea. And then I'm going to cut that rectangle out. It's okay. It's better to make it too big than too small. You can always trim it. So I need to trim a little bit off the bottom. All right, that looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna take a very thin piece of the red and I'm gonna fold it over a little bit and that's where I'm going to put my glue actually I'm going to put my glue on the paper and then lay that folded part on it I'm just going to take, I'm going to use a black color pencil because it's right here, handy, and make the stripes on the door. And add a doorknob. And then your door should open so you can see whatever you drew last week. All right, next part, we'll be adding the turf or the grass. So I have a green piece of paper and I'm going to do the same thing with this green paper. I'm going to see about how long So if I cut this green paper, I'm going to fold the piece over and I'm going to cut just straight across that line. Then I can kind of see how much I need for the roof. It should be about the same size for, for each side of your roof. So I'm going to fold it there and then I'm going to trim the end. And then I'm going to cut where I fold it. And then I can trim it more if I need to. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm actually going to trim some of this off because it's a little too wide. Okay. 
And I'm just checking my pieces to make sure they're about the same. So I have, just have to trim a little bit more. Okay, so now I have my two pieces for the roof. So now I need to cut the grass into it. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna make cuts. I'm not going to cut all the way to the bottom. All right, so when you're finished, you should have some that's cut and then you should have a solid strip on the bottom. And that's where you're gonna put the glue on that solid piece at the bottom. And then you can kind of scrunch up the grass with your fingers a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna do the same thing to this piece. on the bottom again. And scrunch up the grass a little bit. My fingers carefully so I don't rip any. Okay, so that's the roof is finished. Now we need to put some grass on top of the wall and on the bottom. So I'll do the wall next. I'm just gonna take my green paper and I'm gonna cut, it's about a one inch piece across. Then I'm gonna look and see how much I need. And I'm gonna trim it. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut slits into the paper for grass. Put some glue on the bottom where it's not cut. And add the grass to the top of my wall, scrunch it up a little bit. So my piece is a little bit too long, so I'm going to glue it on and then I'm going to trim it. That way I know how much to cut off. Okay. I'll scrunch that one up. All right, now the bottom, we'll probably have to do two layers. And this time we want the grass to be a little bit wider. So I'm going to cut a thicker piece. I'm going to measure to see about how far I need it to go. I'm going to trim it. Okay, that's not going to be big enough. So, I'm going to cut slits into this wider piece now. on that strip again. I 
actually, I'm going to glue this up here. Now I'm going to glue it down. Make up my mind. All right, now I want to do the same thing again. The piece that's a little bit wider. And then measure and trim it. Put slits in it. Then I'm going to put some glue on that strip. Now this part you'll have to be a little bit careful with. So you're going to kind of pull back all this grass the best you can. And kind of Stick that piece under it, and then you can scrunch. Your grass up. You don't want to scrunch the back piece as much because you want it to look like it's at the house. You don't want to see white. So scrunch the bottom one a little bit more. And then we're going to do the same thing on this side. Another strip of wide green, seeing about how far it has to go. Just seeing if I have enough. I'm just going to cut this in half. Actually, I'm going to cut both of them at the same time. So I'm going to cut my slits in my grass. Put some glue. So this time I think I'll glue the back one on first. Now, it's a little bit short, so I'm going to use my black color pencil and make a little bit more stone when I'm done here. Alright, so scrunch up. Alright, so let me take that. Okay, so now all the grass is done. We have a door and you did your sky and if you wanted to add cotton balls you can if you're allowed. And there it is, a finished turf house. Alright, I will see you next time.